Automator is an extremely powerful tool on your Mac that can help make repetitive tasks easy. To make a workflow, start by opening up Automator. Create a new document, and then decide what type of document you want to choose for your Automator workflow. A workflow means that you have to always have Automator open for this to run. A service is probably the most useful. This is the one that we're going to talk about. A service is something that when you right click on anything that you create, a new services icon down here allows you to create different automator tasks. For example, I have this to move to a folder on iCloud Drive, and I also have an automator task to create an item from this that is a JPEG image that also creates the image as 1920 by 1080. So this workflow is actually doing two different things. Now to do this, Let's select a service and hit choose. From here, you need to select what type of uh, thing that you're trying to create from. So if you wanted to, to convert text into something else, if you want to do rich text, URLs, addresses, what I like to do is files and folders. So this is basically saying when I select a file or folder on my Mac in any application, I want it to do whatever I'm going to create here, which is our workflow. So for example, my file and folder here is an image. And what we're going to create next is we're going to make the, we're going to make it do the same thing. Basically, we're going to have it create an item that's a JPEG. So it converts it to a JPEG and then it makes it 1920 by 1080 in size. So to do that, the first thing we need to do is find um, the conversion from what it is into a JPEG. So that's probably going to be under photos. So you can see here, it says change type of image. So we just need to click on this. It shows a description and then click and drag this over to the automator workflow. So it's going to give you a little prompt here. You can just say add. And so now basically what it's doing is it's going to tell you how it's running. It's going to copy the finder item that you choose, and then it's going to change the type of image into whatever you want it to be. So I want it to be a JPEG, right? And now the next thing we need to do for this workflow, if we were to run it, it would work perfectly fine. Um, it would do what we told it to do. But I also want this image to be converted to 1920 by 1080 from whatever size it is. So if I don't want to have to do that repetitively for a thousand images, I can just select all of them and have it do it all at the same time. So the thing we need to do to get that to scale is we need to choose scale image. So the same thing, we have to click and drag this over to Automator and hit add. And if you want it to copy again, that means you're gonna have two of these new files. So I don't want it to copy again. I just want it to copy the original one, change the image and then scale the image. So I'm gonna delete copy out of there. And now this workflow is consistent. So it's gonna copy the item to my desktop it's going to change the image to a JPEG, and then it's going to scale the image to whatever size I want it to be. Now, it only lets you do the width, so 1920, and then it's going to automatically choose the height for you. Um, I haven't figured out a way to change that, so if you know how to do that, be sure to leave a comment down below. That would be awesome. Um, but yeah, this is your workflow. So now, if you choose your image, just click on it on the desktop and click Run. It's gonna say this service will not run inside of Automator. You need to say okay, because this is basically a service item, right? Now it didn't do anything because we need to save this Automator um, workflow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do save, or file save, and then save it as whatever. So I titled mine item, um, convert item to JPEG 1920 hit save and now you should see this when you right click on your Mac and go to services and you can see that we have this here so now if we click it it made our new file and let's walk through this so here's our new file right and here's our old file so what it did was it copied the finder item to our desktop it changed the type of image to JPEG and made it 1920 by 1080 right so let's check that let's do a get info and you can tell here that this is the original image. And so I copied it, which is here. 
it changed it to a JPEG. It was already a JPEG, so it's just basically did the same thing, but this is useful if you have like PNGs or different file types. And it also made the dimensions 1920 by 1280. Now it is not 1920 by 1080, but it tries to keep the image in proportion so that it doesn't look all weird when you open it back up. Again, I haven't figured out how to change this part when inside of Automator, but if you do know how to do that, then that would be sweet. Just let me know in the comments down below. So basically guys, that's how you create an Automator workflow. Now again, this is a service that we created. So that means it shows up under the finder when you right click. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you need any help with it and I'll see you guys in the next one.